Kuranga Sondara, you said there's a connection between 79 and 99 in the Radharasa Sudanidi. Yeah, in the purport, I, I rem as I remember, I forgot it, but I think in the purport. Did you find yeah. it? Yeah, in the purport, there's one verse which is also yeah. cited. Uh, like where Garuda is talking about yeah, yeah. Rukmini's beauty. Yeah. So anyway, this is Baba is repeating this commentary. Which one is actually older? You know that. Do you mean older? Like probably Ananda Saraswati, they must have written it pretty much at the same time. Huh? Yeah, I I never thought about this. <laughs> because there must be some differences in the age or in the scriptures, but they must have been pretty much okay. Probably Ananda probably was older. Yeah, supposed to be. Mm -hmm supposed to be really because he's not uh, uh in i don't know maybe in some of the, his uh, books or poems he is addressing rupa and dragunata especially rupa and sanatana but i don't know so in that case it means that he's the older and his scriptures are more older than mm -hmm. because Raguna was for sure the, one of the youngest of them yeah Jiva was the youngest, but three of them, Rupa, Sanatana, Sanatana was the old one, oldest, Rupa and Raghunatha, as I know. <laughs> we can check. Maybe Goravani knows who is the older. But it looks like that Prabhupada the Saraswati is the older than all of them. It looks like. I'm not sure. Don't take my words for granted. Yeah, one can guess like this because he was uh, really advanced in his I see, um, career. Yeah, he was the Acharya actually in Ranganats. This is one version. <laughs> yeah, great Acharya mm. of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he became mad after mm. Vrindavan and he left all his Acharya position in the South India and became sweet follower of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. <laughs> Radhe Radhe Gurudev. And put Gurudev on the main screen, Radha Charan, so that we can also have his close darshan. Thank you. Radha Radha. Is it Chaitanya Dev there or no? Yeah. Radhe Radhe Chaitanya Radhe. It's so nice to hear, to see you. When did you came? Only one week ago. Okay. In Prague, One week ago, Prabhuji. Oh, that's very nice.
Yes. Raja. How long you are planning to stay? After that, after me. Ah, okay. Radhe Radhe. Nice. Radhe Radhe. Anang Mangiri, brother. Anang Mangiri from Italy. Yes, Florence. Mm -hmm. yes. We are keeping in touch with the Devil Viber. Yeah. Uh, and he is also German. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But he is living in Australia now. Yeah. Yeah. If you not see anyone who would like to ask, please give to him. Not giving us, don't bring life out. <clears throat> we'll see who is there. Gauravanaji, yeah. Mm. Uh, German translation is not set. It's not set, okay. Croatian translation? Yes. It's okay. Japanese and Spanish. Spanish? Yeah, all right. I don't know. Maybe we can wait a little bit just to see. Guru Dev disappeared, or I don't see him. Yes, some problem with this connection. Yeah, okay. So till now, I don't see any. Uh German translation should be because there are no Germans. So, okay. but if it will change, they could actually ask me. I would translate. Okay, okay I will do it. All is set. Thank you, Gor. You can put Goravani on the main screen also, please. I need his help. <laughs> uh. If he will translate, he will. He will be not. Uh, you cannot hear hear him. Yeah, but let's let's see what will happen. Okay. And Radha Charan, if Guru Dev mm -hmm. appears, and if you notice him during I'm our readings, please. Там сам соль, какая-то соль с Гурудева связана, да? Please, if Gurudev appears during our reading, please put him on the main screen. Yes, thank you very much. So this is technical <laughs> things, which we are trying to settle. Okay, I think that's it. Chakshuji can start to read. Please. <clears throat> Rade Rade, everybody, my dandavats to you and to Gurudev. Thank you for the invitation. Kuranga Sundara. We are reading from 
Vilapko Samanjali, verse 79. O Subhaga Mukhi, when will you give me great joy singing sweet love songs with the Prince of Raj? while you embrace him with your very graceful arms and he holds his strong arm on your low shoulders. So I repeat the verse. O oh, Subhaga Muki, fair-faced girl, When will you give me great joy singing sweet love songs with the Prince of Raj while you embrace him with your very graceful arms and he holds his strong arm on your low shoulders? Notes. <clears throat> In his transcendental visions, Sri Raguna Das constantly experiences the sweetness of the divine couple. There are no words to express this experience. But he tries as good as he can. The sweetness of God cannot be explained by writing books. Therefore, the writers of the scriptures call it Mukashvadanavat, a dumb person can relish sweet mellows and can feel great ecstasy because of it but he cannot express it with words. The same goes for God's sweetness. Although the great saints who personally experience God's sweetness <clears throat> tried to express themselves somehow in their books. One must ultimately practice bhajan in order to see it for oneself. <clears throat> it's not possible to get full savor and experience of this simply of this simply by reading books. Therefore, Sri Rupa Goswami has defined the means to relish rasa in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. <clears throat> Thank you, Chachaji. Maybe we can stop just shortly here and try to, with our imperfect words, try to mix this ocean of sweetness of Raghunath's words. So it's very clearly written that only by reading the books it's not possible to relish the complete sweetness of God, or Radha, and Mohan. But these words can give direction where to focus 
our heart and mind in which point to focus them. So by focusing the heart and mind in the pastimes of Radha Mohan, through the words of Acharyas, Sadaka beginners can relish little drops of this loving, sweet, eternal pastimes. So the words for materialistic persons are full of their materialistic attachments, feelings, and consciousness. But in the same time, the words of loving Rasik devotees, sensitive devotees, Baba is always speaking about them, are full also of their feelings, pure loving feelings, their pure loving thoughts, and their pure loving sweet realizations. So when we are listening their words, we have opportunity to come into contact with their transcendental feelings. And through their transcendental feelings, our consciousness slowly but surely can start to change. And the more devotee, the more devotee is attached to the feelings and personalities of our sweet Rasika Acharyas, the more attachment arises in his heart. So this kind of attachment is a spiritual attachment, and it comes because of strong emotional association with pure Rasik devotees. Same thing is happening in material life. Material attachments are also arising and developing in the heart because of association with people who are attached to material world. And the same thing goes like same principle is going when devotee is attached to Premika Bhakti, Rasik devotee. His feelings, his thoughts, his conclusions, and so on and so on, is penetrated in his existence, devotee's existence, and he is starting to change. And everything comes from the sound. When we are listening, the words of pure devotees, actually this is their song. Their words are coming from their hearts, pure loving hearts. And they are singing. Each word is, each syllable is a song, which is glorifying Yuga Lakishwar. So as we know, the music has specific effect on the person, subtle, and influence the person when he is listening something. Same thing goes with the music of our acharyas in the form of their loving words. 
they are influencing the soul. And the soul starts to awaken. And here in these words, we beginners, sadhakas, we have opportunity to listen the song of Raghunath or Tulsi Manjari in the form of his prayers. And he is praying to hear this sweet, intoxicating song which Radha and Mohan are exchanging. So beautiful and very fortunate position of Sadaka is to listen Raghunath's songs in which he is praying and at the same time glorifying the loving song between Yugala Kishore. He is opening. For some devotee, he is opening the hole to look in this situation. For some devotees, he is opening the window. It depends on condensed consciousness. And for some devotees, he is opening the door that they can enter in this lila. So everything depends on the listener. Many things can be said about here and I would like to hear my brother Gurudev and my brothers if they want to add more, more, more relishable things. Those who are completely washed of all material contamination but by their pure devotion, whose hearts are brightened by spiritual satisfaction, who are very attached to hearing the holy topics of Srimad Bhagavatam, who enjoy the blissful company of Rasika saints, whose very life is the blissful wealth of devotion to Govinda's feet, who always discharge the confidential duties of love, like Harinam Sankirtan, associating with Rasika saints, hearing transcendental topics from them and remembering those topics throughout the day are qualified to relish Bhagavad Rasa, the flavor of God. Yes. Goravani, you have something to say? Or? Maybe Radha Charan, you put him in translation room or not? Yes, he's in translation room. Ah, okay, then take him out. Okay.
I think it's it's not needed now translation in German because there are not so many German speaking people who do not understand English. So if then they can write it in the chat and then we can organize. So actually to understand a love song you have to be a lover. If you are not a lover you will not understand what they are singing about. You will think oh all this Feelings, all these topics are not needed. It's, it's not Kian. Actually, it's not proved what they are talking about. I'm not interested. I don't like this. Like there are connoisseurs who eat special dishes made in special ways and only they can understand if they are really made good or not. So here we hear what is needed actually to taste that special love songs. And it is needed a pure heart a heart which is prepared to get the highest loving topics, the rasa, the rasa lila, the exchange of the most beautiful, purest love. So if we don't have the wish to serve love, how we want to understand these songs about love, who someone is giving the whole self to another person. How we could get a glimpse, it's not possible. But there's a secret. Whenever a person speaks about something, he may speak about the weather. His consciousness, his basic consciousness, his bhav, his stai bhav, will vibrating with these words. The heart is actually giving the code of love with the words, even about the weather. Gurudev mentioned this so many times. Great souls, when you go to them, they will first ask you, how was your traveling? Are you hungry? Do you want or need something? Just normal topics. But just by being with them, the vibration will change your heart. So actually, by hearing these topics, by being together with these Rasika devotees, by the mercy of Gurudev and by the mercy of Radharani, the heart will be prepared. And if we do our Harinam, if we try, just try to do something, not that we have really uh, qualities, or at least for me I can speak, there are no qualities, but if I just try, try to go with that cleaning of the heart, then for sure the heart will be washed clean, and then by the time, more and more, I will understand the feelings which are vibrating with this Rasika words. And this is actually what we want. We want to get the real information 
which is vibrated, the love which comes with the words. This is the real Vani. Jai Sri Radhe. Sri Raguna Das Goswami's heart is suffering the pain of love and separation. Separation from Shima Mahaprabhu. Separation from Rupa and Sanatan Goswami. And within himself, he feels a great want of his Swaminiji. His body is burning in the forest fire of separation. And he anxiously prays, When will you make me happy? What is the happiness of Radhika's maidservants? Not their own satisfaction, but the happiness of the Yugalaki shore. While Sri Raghunath floats Radhe, on the waves. Radhe. Just shortly to stop here, because in the words it said, When will you give me great joy? So Baba is referring here on this part of the words and say, we are Raghunath, full of devotion, devotional crying is praying. When will you give me great joy? So to understand properly for what he is praying, for which kind of joy, it's important for Sadaka to meditate. And Baba is giving here a very nice example that he felt so much separation from so much persons, from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from Rupa Raghunata, uh, Rupa Sanatana, from Radha and Krishna. He felt separation. So his heart was completely colored with feelings of separation. And through these feelings of separation, he is singing his pitiful song. He is crying. And he is crying, he is saying, when will you give me great joy? But not that I stop to cry. Not that I stop to suffer. My greatest joy is to hear your sweet singing to each other. And this is Bhavola's Rati. This is Manjari Bhav. My happiness is your happiness. And my distress is your distress, or your distress is my distress. So this is the purest kind of Kevala Bhakti, of pure devotional service, in the form of Manjari Bhav. So we should try to relish his feelings of separation. And when we relish his feelings of separation, it means that we put our heart and our feelings on his tune. This is the perfection of sadhana, bhakti for sadhaka, to put his feelings closely attached, intimately connect with the strong, intense feelings 
in this case of Raghunadas Goswami. So, Sajatya Sangha means to be closely attached to those who already has this kind of feelings and then share with only those who want the same intensity of feelings. Then it brings the joy to the heart. happiness to the soul. <laughs> because here Raghunath, in his Swarup wish, not from only from the soul consciousness, but from Swarup wish, spiritual identity, I am your maid servant, and you are me, my beloved Swamini. From this position, he is crying his prayers. And this is Manjari Gita, Manjari song. It's not Gopi Gita, it's Manjari Gita. And for all devotees who are very, very attached to the idea to become Manjari, this Gita is so, so sweet and ravishable because it's full of feelings of separation. And like Gauravani said, only lovers can hanker for these kind of songs, only lovers can relish these kind of songs, and they don't want to listen any other songs. While Sri Raghunath floats on the waves of prayer that are heightened by the pain of separation, the picture of another transcendental pastime appears to him. Swamini and her Nagara are approaching him singing sweet songs with each other on the bank of Sri Radha Kund. Swamini places her lovely arm on the shoulder of Goshta Yuvaraj, Krishna, the Prince of the Meadows, embracing him. Swamini's arm is elegant because of her pure love, not just because of her physical beauty. Hari cannot be subdued with mere physical beauty without love. In Lalita Madhava it is described how Garuda was enchanted by Rukmini's beauty prior to her abduction by Sri Krishna. When the demigods churned the milk ocean, they also churned the ocean of beauty and took the beautiful natured Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune, from there. Aho, this princess is astonishing my eyes with her beauty in such a way that the beauty of Lakshmi Devi cannot impress me anymore.
But when Krishna heard Garuda's words, he said, Oh, friend, let it be. What's the use of your description? Hari is not just enchanted by physical beauty. Unless that beauty is made out of love, it won't be able to enchant me. Therefore, say something about her love for me. Maybe someone wants to share something, please. So it's it's very clear that the Bracha Sundari actually her beauty, Radha's beauty, is based on her love. Whatever beautiful uh, qualities, qualities, whatever beautiful qualities we may see in her, they are all based on her purest Mahabha for her beloved. So this is the real beauty. It's coming out of the ocean of Mahabha. No wave can be beautiful, really beautiful, if it's not coming out of the ocean of Mahabha. That's why our Swaminiji is our Swaminiji. That's why even Krishna wants to learn from her. Krishna is saying in Chaitanya Charitamrita, You are my guru. I am just your dancing pupil. So love is the guru of Krishna. Love makes him dance. Love is the only thing, this pure Mahabhav, not just any love, this purest Mahabhav is moving him. That's why Radharani's beauty is not just some beauty, like we see in a material world. We can never, never ever try to compare that. Her beauty is based on her ocean of Mahabhav. But this is just the beginning. Our Goranga Sundara will give us more taste, deeper taste. You already said what is necessary to be said so that we have clear understanding that beauty is coming from love. Someone who is maybe so beautiful from external point of view, very attractive, but there is no love in the heart of that person, some coldness is always present. And the lovers immediately feel it. Only lovers. Those who are not lovers, they are very, very attractive for outside appearance. But the lovers, they are hankering, like uh, these Chakora birds, they are hankering just to taste love. And then they are happy and satisfied. So Krishna is also here. By his own words, he's saying Garuda to Garuda, okay, let it be. Let her be so beautiful. 
and so on and so on. But please tell me about her love for me. So this is the position of Krishna. He always wants to swim in the ocean of love. And this kind of bottomless, unlimited ocean can give him only Shimateratika. And this is the song. Baba is singing the song by giving these commentaries through different waves of feelings. Swaminichi's arms consist of Mahabhav. That's why they are so lovely. Swamini's right arm goes over Syam's back up to his right abdomen. And Syam places his long left arm over her left shoulder and makes his left hand reach as far as her left breast. How many hundreds of desires awaken in Shyam's heart after Swami touches him with her elegant loving arms? Shyamasunda's arms are strong, unlimitedly strong. And this beauty becomes very beautiful when they are engaged in Swamini's service. When Radha and Krishna embrace each other, they begin to sing sweet love songs in an intoxicated state. And this is Maha Mantra, according to the sweet explanations of our Gurudev, who is helping us. Then when we are listening this beautiful Lila, just short part of Lila, Immediately we remember Maha Mantra, and when we are chanting Maha Mantra, automatically we can remember their strong embrace and how this kind of embrace is looking like. So, this is Guru Kripa to give disciples open window, open door through his unique explanations how to practice bhajana by chanting the mantras. I just wanted to to say short of this. Radhe Radhe. I was just uh, getting this point about why Shyam Sundara's arms are unlimitedly strong? Because they get the unlimited Mahabhav of Swamini. And he tries to behold them. So they must be unlimitedly strong. That's why, I think. <laughs> why Krishna is so strong? Like you said, Gora Vaniji, because he is full of Mahabhav. Otherwise, without Mahabhav, he will not be so strong. Love makes him strong. And love makes everyone strong. Not muscles. <laughs> 
knowledge, philosophy. These kind of muscles are also <laughs> muscles. Love. Thank you, God. They relish the beauty of the forest on the bank of Sri Radhakund, where the trees and vines are full of blooming flowers that are surrounded by bees that are thirsty after their honey, where the deer and hares freely play, where the cuckoos, parrots and cranes are sweetly singing and where the air is filled with the rich fragrance of the blooming lotus, kalara and champaka flowers. Radha and Krishna themselves illuminate this shore with their own golden and bluish effulgence. Mada Yaditi Madana, Cupid intoxicates and love songs Madgana are also intoxicating songs. Rade. Now we can hear which kind of song is this. And it's already mentioned in the word, words. Madura Madana Gana. Sweet, intoxicating songs. This can satisfy the heart only. Madura Madana gun songs who are sang by the intoxicated loving pair Radha Mohan. These kind of songs giving the pleasure and joy to Radharani's maidservant. And they only want to listen this kind of songs. This is their only subject, only focus, because they are ekanta, one-pointed. And because they have attachment for loving pair, and because their strong, intoxicating attachment to Radha Mohan, they are automatically detached for everything else. So this Madana Gana song is so sweet, so relishable for those who are practicing Majjhima Bhav. Because through this song, when Radhika is singing to Mohan, Manjaris can relish how Radhika loves Mohan. And vice versa, when Mohan is singing, praising his love, Radhika, Manjar is through his songs, feel great joy how he is praising my Swamini. Tinker is a relishing Krishna's love for Radhika. And they are very proud because of that. And we sadakas, <clears throat> we have opportunity that through singing of Raghunath songs, relish Yugala Kishore, how it's written, Madura Madanagana. And this is our unbelievable, indescribable, without any words. It's not possible to find words. 
fortune. And maybe, maybe in the end, we will see how fortunate we have been. That is. Swamini presses Syam's right abdomen with her right lotus hand to tap the rhythm. Whatever gap there was between their bodies disappears now that they firmly embrace each other. How much Swamini enjoys She sings, I will tear open my chest where my heart is and I will put you there. Sham also taps the rhythm on Swamini's bosom. Swamini feels the strength of Shyam's arm. Rasamaya Shyam and Rasamai Swamini. How sweet are their voices. Sometimes Swamini keeps her head on Shyam's chest and sings. Shyam, oh friend, you are my life. I cannot forget that blessed day that I met you. When I saw your moon-like face, I could not stay calm anymore. The heart of this unfortunate girl aches. I am dying ten times in half an hour. O Kanu, Krishna, listen. You are my very life. Be kind to me. Give me the shade of your lotus feet. I have made my reputation and my family tradition sink in the water of love. I cannot live without you. How beautiful is Swamini's face when she sings this sweet love song. How wonderful are her gestures. That's why Tulasi calls her Subhagamukhi, fair-faced girl here. Shyam also sings an appropriate love song. Oh, beautiful girl, what are you telling me? I've become absorbed in remembering your love again and again. My mind never finds peace. It's always agitated and I can find no consolation. I always see you everywhere, in all ten directions, in the sky as well as on earth. 
I wander over the hills and the rivers and through the forest, just looking for you. I don't think of anyone else but you. You appear in my mind even when I eat or sleep. Listen, O Vinodini, giver of joy, to this love story. We are two bodies with one soul. Jnanada sings, Gone is the duality between them as they have now united. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Ki Jai. Ekatma Dui Deha. By Krishna's own words, through his own song, slowly and in a hidden way, he is revealing in Parakya mood. He is revealing existence, eternal existence of Goranga Mahaprabhu. So we can see here how through this sweet, loving words between Radha and Mohan, so many things are also hidden. And thirsty sadakas want to relish and to understand, to enter deeply in them. Because by relishing and understanding these words, Ruchi, uh, this uh, taste for chanting will increase. Because it will become normal. Lila and mantra, mantra and lila, persons, their names and qualities and their pastimes are actually become one relishable ocean of sweetness. And this kind of impression and feelings and realizations brings the taste to increase more and more and become attachment and then craziness, madness, intoxication, and so on and so on. This is the only job of every soul. There is no any other song. There is no any other sadhana. There is no any other philosophy, explanations, and so on and so on. When these things come together, then job is done. And we just need more kripa and more kripa and more kripa to develop and develop this kind of goal in our life. Nothing else. And we can hear, uh, we can listen and read this kind of loving expression between Radha and Mohan through their intimate songs, very intimate songs, only by mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is his audari, gracefulness. Gurudev, do you want to enlighten us a little bit? Uh, oh. 
Very nice and very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful explanation. Right? Beautiful. That is the only way. Swamini is enchanted by Siyama's song and lifts her arm from his belly up to his neck. She lowers her face and rewards Shyam with a kiss. That is a suitable reward for such a sweet love song. There is no limit to Shyam's ecstasy. They are freely enjoying as sweetly as the king of elephants with a she-elephant. And there are no sakis around here. Madura how it's written, Madanagana. These special intimate songs are not meant for the Sakis. Only Manjaris can relish the relishment of Yugala Kishore. Intimate intoxication, which they expressed through their specific very, very unique songs. And the beauty is that Radha and Mohan are not at all shy to sing these kind of songs in front of Manjaris, Kinkaris, and many Kinkaris, because they are all Sajatya singers. And this is the real example of a real Sajatya. Many young girls are around loving couple, thousands, millions, I don't know how many. And each of them see Radha and Mohan. And they feel so happy, so joyful, because they are alone with the couple, without this Sakis. This is Manjari Gita. That is. They declare their love to each other and mutual love awakens in their hearts. They leave each other and then they embrace each other again so many times. They bite each other's bimba fruit like lips and glorify each other's qualities. They stare at each other's faces with tear-filled eyes and speak sweet words to each other, while Yadunat Das watches.
Vana Vihara, forest sports. Swamini picks flowers and decorates Shyam with them. And Shyam also picks flowers to decorate Swamini with. Singing and singing thus, <clears throat> they proceed to the bank of Radhakund. Tulasi's bliss knows no bounds when she beholds that. When this vision disappears from her, she cries and, say, and prays. Please come this way once more and look at me. I am all alone here. I will be so happy when I can see your blissful pastimes here again. You left me behind here on the bank of the Kunda. I will be fulfilled if I can see you one more time again. O Swamini, where shall I go? if you reject me. My life is dedicated to your service. May the effulgence of your toenails shine in my heart and soothe it. That is my long cherished desire. The show of Radhakund is illuminated by your divine effulgence. As you come here dancing and singing, how can I, like anything else, still after seeing you, having come here? Radhe. So in this long, long prayer of Raghunath. So we can see here situation when the vision is vanishes. So we can imagine how painful it is when vision very vividly appears in front of him. That it looks like a direct, like a real. This is an interesting thing. And suddenly, during his listening, the songs of Radha and Mohan, this song stops. And he feels cut off of all his life, of everything. And then he is crying and praying, because he had realization. He had this vispurti. But now he found himself again on the bank of Radha Kunda. And he understood. What I saw, it vanishes. I don't want anymore this kind of condition of my life. I don't want that visions appears and disappears anymore. It's not satisfied my heart. He is not crying because he feels the pain of separation. He is crying to always be 
with his beloved or her beloved Swami. And if we remember the last words in Diksha Mantras which Gurudev gave to us, and this is a prayer. Oh my Swamini, you engage me in this most secret and most confidential bhajan. You engage me. You are giving me the ears to hear your songs. You are giving me ability to feel your feelings. You are giving me everything. So please, situate me, allow me to attain my eternal spiritual siddhadeh. And because I know that you are so merciful, please allow me to always be with you. I don't want anything else. So this is the last prayer in Diksha Mantras which Gurudev is giving to each of us. So Raghunath here in the mood of separation, in the mood of longing, Like a sadaka, he is praying. Please give me the place nearby your lotus feet to become your shadow, to become your maidservant. Please awaken my swarup. Awaken. And give me. Kripa, to be deeply absorbed in that. Through this, I can hear your loving song. Through Swarup, not through these materialistic ears. Rade, rade. It's so important that only in Bhava Deha we are aware about Bhava. Bhava Deha, Sita Deha, is, let's say, like the instrument to get this bhava otherwise, like a radio is getting the vibrations and then you can hear it. Without being in bhava deha, you cannot get the bhava. Swamini is sending it always, but we cannot get it. So if we come back in our material consciousness immediately it's gone bhava stop so we are not on the right frequency so shila ragunath or shila prabodhananda always pray always as soon as this transmission is missing as soon in that moment immediately they are crying and praying and is also said here before in the explanation of Ananda Das Babaji on the waves of their prayers they are coming back into Bhavadeya on the waves of their prayers oh Swamini let me serve you personally personally 
I want to be back in direct connection with you. So let me stay in my Baba there. Let me stay there. So this is a very deep and very intense prayer because it's going to the end in the right direction, the end of his vilap. So it gets more intense. So this actually should be our prayers. First we fake it, then we will make it one day. Fake it means we will just like parrots tell the same words like Raguna does. And then by the time more and more we will feel it also. Not just say the words, but feel it also. And then Bhavadeya has to awake. Cannot stay captured anymore for all the time. This is the mercy. Because only by mercy we can get this fragrance. Like as a child, you turn the radio's frequency. You don't know where is what. You just turn it as long as you hear the right thing. As long as you are connected with the right bhava. You just try. Do your chanting. Turn around. And if we are lucky, Gurudev will give us the frequency. It's 99.9. .9. Try it. Right. This is the point. Our there is to connect with the one frequency. Brahm <laughs> Goranga, please check your mic. Tinto. Yes, good to there. Please, you can continue now. When the Dati frequency is fixed, with so many. And the quality of so many all come to the Dati. There are 25 qualities of so many. Many, but 25 is special today morning. Yesterday was that, yes, no? We read in the Chandra. Uh, Temple of Love. Temple of Love. So, in that, uh, this frequency make us to Manjari also, Dasi also, same feeling is happening. When this frequency come to the Dasi of the qualities, some qualities come to Dasi. The power there has Dasi. The more separation Sri Raghunath feels, the more he relishes. Wow. Yeah.
the more hunger, the more savor. The Goswamis showed this by their example. Crying and crying, the aspirant will become overwhelmed. Then he will experience all this. Uh, that's high for one message. I fixed it in my constitutional place in our service. These experiences will slacken the bondage of bodily consciousness. Uh. The sweetness of the divine pair can be fully relished in the consciousness of a maid servant. Wow. We will be blessed if we experience these feelings of our great example, Srila Raghunathas Goswami. Uh, when this vision vanishes, Sri Raghunath rolls on the bank of Radhakund and laments. Radhe Radhe. I was just hanging at the point. We will be blessed if we experience these feelings of our great example. We will be blessed if we turn it around means only by blessings we can feel. Without blessings we cannot. So we have to be blessed to experience these feelings. Only by the blessings of that great souls who are in their Bhavadeha, only by their blessings we can experience the feelings. Sorry. It was just some Honestly, this has to be our greed. To use our most time, anyone who is living in the Bahab there, how to get mercy of this. Really, honestly, I say you, is it rare to find anyone, person who lives in the Bhaja? You will see other sadhak will be very easy to find, but the person who live in the Bhaja rare to find this. Right. 
when this vision vanishes, Sri Raghunath rolls on the bank of Radhakund and laments. Your arms are as lovely as lotus stems. And Vrachendra Nandana is being embraced by them. Because he places his own strong arm on your shoulders. They have become beautifully lowered. O oh, Sumuki, when will you gladden my heart by swinging, by singing sweet erotic songs with Krishna? This is the end of the purport. O oh, Subhaga Muki, when will you give me great joy singing sweet love songs with the Prince of Raj while you embrace him with your very graceful arms and he holds his strong arm on your low shoulders? Not even. Thank you, Chakshaji. Thank you for thank your you. reading. Gurudev, thank you very much for your sweetness, which you express through your heart and words. Thank you, Gauravani. I'm a listener, mm -hmm. not a speaker. I am the one to seek. I want to Uh, we all want to become listeners, Gurudev. We don't want our own words. That's mean that I can be a good listener. Drinker mm -hmm. from the ears. One day, I don't remember, you say we listen from the mind and drinking in the heart. When we listen, it goes to the mind. And when we drink from the ears, then it goes to the heart. I not forget that. I don't remember this. <laughs> that I said that. I yes. cannot believe it that I said that. It's that. above, it's completely above my abilities. Sorry to say. It's what, it was the reality. <laughs> you can see the recordings out there. <laughs> yes, now I will listen all recordings to find it. <laughs> Sorry, Gurudev. It was your words. It's, my words are empty, actually. I don't want my words. I don't want my feelings. I don't. It's quite enough for them. We are so fortunate yeah. that you close your eyes on all our mistakes. And this is Radha Kripa. Yeah. Jai Rajasundari, Jai Gurudev.